Hi, my name is Carlos Mortera. Uh, I'm the chef owner of Pollo. Uh, Pollo, we are, uh, I'm calling it a Mexican barbecue. We specialize mainly on grilled chicken. That's where we put our main focus, but we're trying to open up more than just your traditional and, and serve different foods uh, more on a barbecue way. We are a barbecue restaurant in a way that, the way that we serve, that we are meat centric. Uh, we slow cook our meats. Uh, but we are not a barbecue restaurant where we have sweet sauces and stuff like that. Uh, we serve in a barbecue style, which is kind of like a cafeteria style. Uh, we are a quick serve where we are, we are slow cooking, but a quick serve restaurant. We have a lot of your traditional barbecue side dishes, but we are doing it on our way. Uh, we have a mac and cheese, but it's a poblano mac and cheese. We have corn, but it's a Mexican style elote. Uh, we have beans, but they're black beans uh, that have been braised. Uh, with a bunch of vegetables so it's a little play on barbecue uh, mexican grilled chicken restaurant and everything else so we have our own sauces so we have about uh, four different salsas uh, we have a uh, salsa verde uh, which is just a tomatillo jalapeno this is the less spicy uh, and then we have a salsa matcha uh, with dry chilies very smoky some people like to say it's like our barbecue sauce uh, we have a Thai chili because I like to mess around with a lot of Asian influence in my food. And then we have a habanero, just people want something spicier. Uh, on the rice bowl, we start with our kimchi fried rice, where we make the kimchi in-house. But we start with some kimchi fried rice on the bottom, and then we add a little bit of all our side dishes, which is uh, broccoli, charred broccoli, charred cauliflower. We have some corn. Uh, we put some of our slaw, which is a pickle slaw, instead of a creamy base, and then with some house pickles. Uh, in the middle, we added some pork carnitas, which we do a Filipino adobo, and then we finish it with a little bit of hoisin sauce, just to add more sweet and our, another barbecue. <laughs> uh, the chicken nachos. Um, I didn't want to add the chicken nachos, but it was one of those, it's like, I know people, people used to always ask us for nachos or chips, so I was like, fine, if we do chicken nachos, I'm gonna do it my way. So we did, we fry our own chips, uh, which it makes a difference on the tortillas, like way crispier. Uh, so then we do some grilled chicken uh, on top of it with some corn. We add some of the black beans and some of the poblano queso. And then we finish it with some cotija and some house pickles. And then your choice of salsas of whatever you want. Uh, and then we have the half chicken, which is one of our most popular. It's a half chicken box. Uh, it's a half chicken with two sides. Uh, we give you, you know, a breast, a thigh, a leg, and wings. And then uh, we did for the sides, it was at elotes, which is my favorite. Um, some chili lime mayo on top with some cotija cheese. And then the carrots that are also my two, those are my two favorite sides. Uh, and then we put a lemon vinaigrette on top. So. The carrots are like the most underrated side that we have, but when you eat it, it's like the best side. People like fall in love with those and that's the only thing they want to eat when they come. The goal is for people to try something new. Like open up, it's just, barbecue is just one thing. Uh, you know, there's barbecue in different cultures. There's barbecue in all over the world. So I want them to try something different. Uh, and my goal is maybe have a pollo in each different neighborhood in Kansas City. Hey guys, uh, check us out at Pollo Mexican Barbecue. We are in Armordale neighborhood in KCK in the corner of 7 and Osage.